good aqua fam how you guys doing today man oh shit i hope you guys are doing good welcome back to the mcqueen channel um i know we ended off yesterday on a weird note um and i'm aware of that and you know i'm going to completely acknowledge that right now um but nevertheless we are here we're blessed it's another day or well, another night actually um it was a productive ass day today man I had a lot on you know a lot on the agenda uh, a lot of things I had to take care of. So, um, right now, if you are not aware of what's currently going on, um, can you can you get the fuck up out the way? Damn, man, I can't stand when niggas can't drive, bro. But anyways, uh, so yeah, uh, it's another day, um, and uh, if like I said, if you are not aware of what's going on right now, currently in my life. Um, I need you guys to pay attention, uh, Aqua Family, okay? Um, for all my new members, you know what I'm saying, of the Aqua Family, first of all, welcome. Thank you for subscribing. You know what I'm saying? You are now part of a fucking gangster-ass unit, also known as the Aqua Family. But anyways, man, that's besides the point, okay? If you're not aware of what's going on in my life right now, uh, me and Flight got a little, there was, you know, got into a little... A little altercation yesterday and that is because he is butthurt because i brought his ex some food now keep in mind okay if you're not already caught up this is for the people that aren't caught up um i brought her fruit first of all she lives in my building so i mean there's already been a couple things that her and abby have done as friends to help me out considering we both live in the same building um Especially when it came to that situation with the security guard. Um, they were there for me. And I really appreciate that. And that's just number one. Number two is like, why can't I do something cool for my homie? You know what I'm saying? I never said, well, I mean, I did say that. But I was just, you know, I was trolling. Like, I wasn't really serious. Like, why would I ever go and, and, and get with Flight's ex? You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? Now it's looking like, okay, nigga, like this nigga really is trying to test... You know what I'm saying? Who the fuck I am? This nigga tried to come at me crazy on the video yesterday talking about some, oh, go to Diamond House, you know what I'm saying? See what happens, blah, blah, blah. I promise you. I promise you something bad gonna happen to me. Okay, you guys know McQueen is, I'm not scared of fucking nobody. You know what I'm saying? I'm literally not scared of nobody except for God. You know what I'm saying? I'm not scared of anybody, man. You know, I'm also scared of Zeus. But that's besides, you know, that's pretty, that's, that's the size of point, you know? But for the most part, Let's let's just say that for the most part, I'm not scared of anybody. And I'm definitely not scared of flight. So with that being said, um, we're all aware that flight is a goofy ass nigga. You know, um, I, I just pulled up to my crib. Um, I was over in Rancho. Some shit happened. Uh, there'll be a video on that tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> so my thing is, man. Flight really, really thinks that I won't do this shit. Like, he really believes. You could see it in his eyes. If you were there, like, yeah, you guys saw it on video. But if you were there, you guys could literally see it. Like, this nigga really believed that I wouldn't do that shit. And it's like, Flight should know me well enough by, by now that I would definitely do that shit. Especially considering she lives three floors below me. It's not like it's a hard task. You know, I could easily do that shit. It's not, it's not like I got to travel far and wide. Like, you know. So, that's exactly what I'm about to do. I just got home. She's three floors down. I'm not even going to waste no time. I'm just going go straight there. You know what I'm saying? So, let me get my shit. And I'm going to start recording once I get all settled, okay? Bow! If you guys don't know what this is, it's a hummus and pita bread. It's a Middle Eastern shit, okay? Don't hate on it because it's fucking fire. If you haven't had hummus, you're tripping. Um, but anyways, bringing it for Diamond. I'm on the way to her house right now. Um, like I said, I went in, dropped my shit off in my crib, came down three floors, and here he is. It's as simple as this. Flight, if you're watching this, nigga, did you really think that this wasn't going to happen? <laughs> I brought you some more food. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's in 
the bowl. Miss Hummus and Peter Bread. <laughs> My mom used to eat this. This is like. This shit is fire. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Give me a hug. Thank you. You're welcome, you know? It's, it's, you said it's homemade. You ate today? Um, I ate today, but I ain't eat recently. I ate like an hour mm. ago, so it wasn't like really too long ago from now. Yeah, but that's that homemade shit, nigga. You can't get that nowhere else. You know what I'm saying? Who like, I'm saying it? that shit fire, fire. Who made it? My mom. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that shit slaps. That's just that D. Okay, you know you're bringing me me. So I was like, I was hoping you didn't like have a problem with Middle Eastern food because that shit bang. That shit is for real fire. No, I would like to try it before like, I actually get into it. You know what? Hold my camera. All right, bet. Let's see. You gonna try it right now? Mm -hmm. I bet. Let me see what this is laying like. Let me see. It gotta be warm. Yeah, you gotta warm the pita bread. Oh, here. Let me turn the thing on. No, this is this is an old fashioned way how you. It's really an old fashioned way how you like warm up stuff. Like my grandma used to do it like this. So take the bread and you just put it on the um stove which is it's not ghetto but it's just another cliche way to do stuff mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you just go did you say put it in the microwave is that what you said no, on the oven on the oven i'm gonna say on the oven on the oven i ain't gonna lie i warm it up with the microwave sometimes too when i'm just impatient but it's like it's warm. not good for you like, you know what i'm saying it's like it's not as you know what you can oh, whatever you can like um i don't like it in the microwave because it's like no i don't like that shit because they don't make it like crispy and shit yeah me i like the bake stuff I like yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel you. all right this is warm enough okay let's see. Let's see. With the okay i see candle this shit fire right I'm trying to tell you, man. Slap. It's just slap. Slap. <laughs> okay, so. I'm going to talk to you like, you know what? I'm going to come sit down with you because I don't feel like standing there. I want to have a mutual conversation with you. And as you can see, um, I called you over because I want to talk to you about the video. Okay. What happened? Like, I seen that y'all was like, you called him a B and he like, Aah! Yeah, you know how flight. He got all crazy, like. Yeah, you know how flight get, like, you just. And, okay. and what, and what I was confused about the part when, um, uh, the, a car, it was the time. We yeah, no, car. he got out. Okay, me, so we were riding around with Chino. Mm-hmm. And we were like, honestly, we were together for like all day. Not all day, but we was, we was all chilling with each other for like a cool three, four hours, right? Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, like, first of all, this nigga didn't say anything about any type of issue he had with me getting involved with you, like bringing you food the whole day. He didn't say nothing about it the whole but day. But why is he so fresh? Because, oh, I, didn't I don't know yet, but let me tell you what happened. So all day, the nigga didn't say shit. And then right when we're dropping them off, this nigga just going to get all attitude and shit and come to me talking about some, oh, McQueen, what you did was, yo, that shit was fucked up, blah, blah, and I don't really fuck with you for that, blah, blah, blah. You know what Why I'm saying? is he so pressed? Like, you brought me food. Like, what's the I issue? I didn't like, do nothing to you. I didn't, you know what I'm saying? If anything, I made that tower because I was trolling. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I didn't actually, like, even when we brought him over here and he thought I was going to kiss you for real. I was, I was pranking, you know what I'm saying? Right, like, why the fuck would I ever... You know, I told him in that video, like, why would I ever do that to you on some real shit? Right. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I really don't know what the fuck... It, I think that that nigga really like your ass. I really think... I think he do because he came over here saying, oh, if I take anything from any of my friends, it's basically going to be a thing. Like, it's going to be an issue. Like, he was basically, like, threatening me. Like he was gonna do something if I ever take something. Well, I took something now, so what's the what? What is gonna be? And see, that's the type of vibe he was coming at me on yesterday, oh. and that's why I was like, "Yo, I'm not going for none of that." Like, okay, and I know I kind of low key kind of disrespected him by calling him a bitch, mm -hmm. but at the same time, like he is acting like a bitch. You know what I'm saying? I, I said the same thing. I said that I'm not, I said that. 
I said the same thing. I said when I watched that stay Will Flight is acting like a B I C C H like I like you acting like a real life female, bro. Like, like you you over here pouting boo hoo for what? Like what should I think it's something bigger than what it actually is. Like I I think he thinks <coughs> that he might be mad that it can be a chance that we probably be together or anything. Like mm-hmm. I think he just He's overthinking it like I a think motherfucker. He's overthinking to that point, like if and I was, feel like I also feel like Flight has been through so many like fucked up relationships and shit. I feel like yeah. there's low key a screw loose. Yeah, do you know, so. like the nigga is low key scarred on some like psych- psychological shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because the way he like he was like this. <laughs> I'm like, Damn. like the nigga just freaked like, out. Like I don't even I remember. Did I even call him a bitch or was I saying he acting like a bitch? I think acting like a bitch. Exactly. Like, okay, now, it would be different if I straight up said you're a bitch because you don't call another man that. Right. You know what I'm saying? I said you you're acting, acting like, like a bitch. bitch. Right. That's the difference between actually saying it directly to you and saying what, you, what you're what you acting like. Right. And then he started trying to get disrespectful with his tone and shit, you know, you know, saying some shit like, oh, don't act different now that we in front of company. I'm like, nigga, you know I will say this shit to right. you outside of the fucking building before right. we nigga. So like, don't like don't sit here and act like I won't say that to your face, right? You know what I'm saying? So, then I'm like, and then he was like, bro, you're not going to call me no bitch. Bro. Like, like, just trying to disrespect me, trying to try me and shit. I'm like, all right, bro, well, I call will call car. you. Like, really trying to pull your car, like. Yeah, so I'm like, all right, bro, I will call you a bitch again. And that's when he just started tweaking. Got up, you know what I'm saying, trying to fight me and shit. Like, Mitch, Mitch didn't even, like, Mitch was just trying to invite us over to just chill. Right, chill. Like, and, I, and I felt bad because I low-key fucked with the vibe. Like, I didn't mean to fuck it up, but I just had to let Flight know on some real shit. Because before we even walked in, Flight gonna pull me over and tell me about something. Oh, and he had the camera on me, too. He was like, bro, I'm just letting you know, dog. Like, you know, I like, I mean, low-key distant because... Of whatever happened with, you know. This is for what? Like, for the for shit that happened yeah. with the diamond. Like, he buttered about it. So, I, again, I'm like, okay. I kept that in my mind. Like, when we went upstairs, I'm like, bro, like, honestly, just to clear the air, my nigga, like, I really feel like just keep it 1,000. You acting like a bitch, bro. Literally. You know what I'm saying? So, that's basically what happened. And then I left because I'm like, nigga, I'm not finna stay here in this weak ass. Like, I'm not about to sit here in this negative ass energy now, you know what I'm saying, right, that you like, fucking created, like... creating something that's unnecessary. Yeah, He so. could've just literally looked at the video, went about his day, and just like, oh, Reem, if... Honestly, he's insecure, because if he wasn't insecure, he wouldn't even be tripping. Exactly. So, he's one, he's... And that's what I'm saying. I feel like, you know, with past relationships with Loki, scarred this nigga, you know what I'm saying? Which is kind of understandable to an extent... But that nigga on some other shit. But you know? it don't, it don't, it shouldn't get to the point where you feel like it should like mess up your friendship with somebody. Exactly. And that's especially someone like me. I've kept it, you know me. Like I've been around for a long. Time. Nigga, I've kept it one thousand since the day I met that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't know, but yeah. So this nigga flight was like really telling me like, don't go to Diamond House. Woo do woo do woo. Like go to Diamond House and see what the fuck gonna happen. Woo blah blah. Woo do woo. I'm like nigga, like. Flight, let's not sit here and act like I'm not McQueen. Right. You know what I'm saying? Petty McQueen. Like, I will really go to Diamond's house. <laughs> and and you just because you told me not to, I will go to her fucking house. You know what I'm saying? Just because you think that you can control me and scare me out of doing right. some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So, you need to sit down. I'm here. Mm-hmm. And I, in the video, I don't know if you heard me say that, but I said that. I'm gonna get Diamond to kiss me on the cheek. Now, before you think of anything, you know what I'm saying, uh, the only reason why I'm asking or bringing that up in the first place is because, not because I want a kiss from you, like, because, like, you know what I'm saying? Because I know you don't want to kiss me. It doesn't, I don't want it out of a genuine place. I just want you to just give me a kiss on the cheek because he said that I wouldn't ask you. (laughs) <laughs> just to just to really prove to this nigga that I will literally like I don't give a fuck about what he trying to tell me or control me to do. Well, you know? I so do you mind just giving me a peck just cause? Something about you, baby. Something about this pretty girl. Something about you girl.